morning guys it is vlogmas day hold on i don't know what day it is 10. vlogmas day 10. um i am sitting here getting together a grocery list and trying to knit a little bit and trying to sneak in some coffee while lucy takes her first nap um, and watching vlogmas videos i'm so behind on vlogmas um, there are so many good ones out right now it's so easy to fall way behind so I'm trying frantically to catch up. It's like all I watch now. I've been putting podcasts on hold because I really want to catch up on everybody's vlogmases. So I'll show you what I'm doing. I've got Caroline on the vlogmas machine. I'm on day eight for her right now. This, this is uh, Knitting Vicariously vlogmas. Coffee. I drink it black. And here's my grocery list. So fancy. Here's what I'm working on right now. I cast on a new sweater because I needed to do that because I don't already have a sweater on the needles and a whole bunch of other new cast-ons waiting for me to work on them. But this is the Marled Mania cardigan. I bought this pattern a long time ago because I love the pattern and it took me forever to cast on. I finally did it last night or the night before. And... I've got the first bit of ribbing done right now. Um, you hold two, it's a Stephen West cardigan, you hold two strands of fingering weight together the whole way. And I'm going to be marling it the whole way, so dropping one color, adding in a new color, and doing that alternately. So far, the cast on was two Moonstone Dye Works yarns. This is the Merino Singles base in the Yvain colorway. This is the Stellina Sock base in the Waxing colorway. And right now I just dropped Waxing and I'm going to be adding in Woolen Vine yarns in her Singles base in the Paranormal colorway. And this is my bag full of yarn that I have picked out for the sweater. This does mean that my little Advent project that I had picked out has gone to the wayside because I put all those minis in here for this sweater. So, oops. But it's okay. I think I'm really going to like this. Ah, squirrel. So I'm going to see how much knitting I can get done on this. And then when Lucy wakes up, I'm going to feed her and then we are going to go to the grocery store. And not the uh, the little down the street grocery store like we went to last time. We're going to go to the across town, which here across town means like a mile away grocery store. And that's the North Coast Co-op where I do most of my grocery shopping. They're really great. All the produce, most of the produce, I should say, is fairly local. Um, the meat counter is wonderful. Most of the meat is fairly local. And they just have everything I want. So the meat guy at the grocery store that we're going to right now knit Lucy this hat. Can you believe it? I was floored. Um, he is one of the butchers in the meat department and the last time we were there, he asked me if he could knit Lucy a hat and I was just like, hell yeah, he can knit her a hat. Um, and he has like one of those knitting looms. And so the next time Colin was there, um, he had this hat for her and Colin brought it home. So of course, now I'm gonna go back to the store that he works at and hopefully he's working and he can see Lucy in the hat that he made her. I, I was just so touched. That is just so sweet. I can't believe my butcher knit my daughter hat. Love it, love it. Do you love it? She loves it.
back from the store. It was a fun trip. I really like taking her to the grocery store, especially that one because I just know, some, I run into so many people I know from around town. It's such a small community and it's really fun. Um, but we got much of what we needed. Uh, a lot of which, as you saw, is still sitting on the living room floor by the front door because <laughs> I haven't put it away yet. Um, except for the cold stuff. My husband, Colin, is really obsessed with the cold chain, so anything that gets refrigerated as soon as it comes in the door, right in the refrigerator. So, Colin, I've respected the cold chain, the cheese, the milk, it's all in the fridge. But I got a bunch of stuff for the week, including things to make dinner for three nights. And it's just, you know, the other nights will either have something like nachos or leftovers or you know, Colin will be out that night anyway, because he, he plays music, so he's out for gigs a lot of the times in the evenings. Not a lot, but sometimes. So I got stuff to make pizza again, because when you get stuff to make pizza one night, you have to get stuff to make pizza a second night that same week, because you have enough pasta sauce for two pizzas. And I got stuff to make, like, a, like sausage and rice kind of dish that I make a lot of the times. Um, the meat counter at the co-op has house-made sausage. That's really good. So I got that garlic and herb sausage. And I'll pretty much saute that up with some vegetables, make some brown rice, and just kind of mix it all together. And then I also got stuff to make chicken fajitas. And so we'll make that one night this week. I got black beans. I'll make those to go alongside of it. I really like to start with dried beans whenever I do beans. It's super cheap and it's super easy to make beans. You soak them or you don't have to. It's a big controversy. <laughs> then you throw them in a pot with water, put them on a boil and then simmer and then they're done. And then you have beans for days and it's like 50 cents. Anyway, um, so that's what I got to make for dinner this week. I'm not sure what we're going to have tonight. Um, I'll decide. Probably pizza. I mean, because why not have pizza, like, all the time for dinner? Or lunch. Or breakfast. Ever heard of breakfast pizza? A lot of you were impressed with me putting potato on pizza. You should try it. Another thing that's really fun is putting eggs on pizza. I like putting everything on pizza. It's a fantastic medium for anything. Okay. Now I gotta put the groceries away. Watch and learn, Caroline. Thank you. 